Hi, welcome back to one of my YouTube broadcasts. I know it's been a long time since I put one of these up onto the site. Um, I apologize for that. I'm sure you missed it. And I'm going to try to do that a little bit more consistently. We've just been having so much fun uh, working on our podcasts. And uh, it's coming along pretty decently, finding out new things every day. But uh, this was put on the back burner for a little bit. So I'll get back to it, I promise. And what a way to come back is to talk about these Star Wars titles on the screen here. I recently read Star Wars, Chewbacca, issue number 5. Kanan, issue number 10. Obi-Wan and Anakin, brand new series. The first issue came out here. And then the last two, my personal favorites from this haul, Star Wars issue number 14 and Star Wars issue number 15. But first, Chewbacca. Issue number 5, this wraps up the miniseries of Chewbacca. Uh, it took him on a little... Uh, place he, he he went on his own little mission got sidetracked and ended up helping this planet uh from the empire um the series overall was pretty pretty fun i i did enjoy it very interesting seeing uh chewbacca talk <laughs> and because he, he just growls but the, the the uh girl that he's helping understands him um it was just it was really interesting i think the the art team and the writing team did a really good job working together because they really il illustrated uh, and conveyed what Chewbacca was really feeling slash saying to the readers even though we couldn't understand one word he was saying um series was was fun uh it was good star wars fa fashion adventure um recommended i'd recommend it getting the trade if you missed the floppy issues get the trade but a uh, decent read overall kanan number 10 uh, i was really excited about this i did review the last issue on my earlier youtube broadcast uh, and this is the one that happens after it the cover I'll just tell you this right now, a little misleading. Um, still good, still good, good issue though. It's still taking us back in Kanan's history. Kanan never fights General Grievous though, um, but they they set up another cliffhanger where the next issue supposedly Grievous will start throwing down with someone, and it's very good. I highly recommend this issue just to see Grievous uh, in another uh, in, in interpretation. He's still very cool. I always like General Grievous and. Uh, he makes a good impression on this issue, so highly recommend it. Go ahead and get this issue. Obi-Wan and Anakin number one, uh, brand new series like I mentioned earlier. They are traveling, and it's really just good to see uh, this version of Obi-Wan, you know, youthful uh, Obi-Wan, uh, still a Jedi Master, and doing what he does best, and that's kicking butt. Uh, he takes with him his Padawan, Anakin, eh, uh, but he's with them, and they have a an adventure. I don't even know where the heck they are, but the one place they go to in the galaxy happens to be happens to also be the place where they don't even know what Jedi are. Um, and Obi Wan and Anakin looks like it's going to be a fun read. Uh, I recommend that one as well. All right, Star Wars fourteen. Look at that cover first of all. Um, just intense. I, I was waiting for that too. It's it's Chewbacca versus this Wookie bounty hunter. Um, I can't pronounce his name, but they did give him a nickname and they call him Santi, so I'm going to call him Santi. But, oh man, uh, you get to see a nice little throwdown of a fight. And in comics, that's kind of what you want. When you see an issue or a cover like that, you want to see it. And you do. You get to see a few panels of Chewbacca um, getting his butt kicked, actually, by Santi. And Han is in the mix as well. Uh, a great, great little sequence of uh, a fight there that they've had. Um, of course, everything else is still going on. Darth Vader, this is still taking place with Vader down. Darth Vader is still there. Luke is getting um, attacked as well. Um, and Leia makes a huge uh, last impression on the final page. So I want you to read that and find out what it is. Very cool moment. So cool that they decide to drop that story for an issue because it continues in another uh, title um but they go into star wars 15 and this is a a side tale in the past of obi-wan who looks kind of like reed richards there doesn't he a little bit all right i gotta look this way because the camera's in reverse there i'll look this way there you go um <laughs> but he he looks like anyway obi-wan he's still cool uh this this is gonna be a nice little off tale as well kind of tells you about uh, him watching uh luke on tantooine uh, he gets in a nice little discussion with uh, his uncle, Uncle Owen. And uh, w one of the highlights that I liked in this issue was uh, Obi Wan was saying, "God, he's he's not he can't prep being he can't be a practicing Jedi anymore. He's got to be in covert and uh, in stealth while he's watching him." 
Um, but he says he's gotten into he's be, he's becoming very good at getting into trouble. But the one thing he's better at is not dying. And then he goes, just ask Darth Maul, Count Dooku, and General Grievous. You know, it was kind of cool. Just a good throwback to the people that he he survived, and he did. And not only he beat them too. Maybe not Count Dooku, but he did survive it, and he was the main uh, force against him in the the movie um, Revenge. No, Attack of the Clones. And anyway, it was a little cool moment with, with uh, Obi Wan there. Nice little side story. So there's my quick review of these five wonderful Star Wars titles produced by Marvel Comics. I highly recommend all of them to you. Chewbacca, get the trade. Kanan, if you haven't picked it up, uh, I'm sure they're doing trades now too. Get caught up. It's a very good series, even if you haven't watched Star Wars Rebels which I have not, I'm sorry, um, it's still a great read. Uh, and if you are watching Star Wars Rebels, I'm sure you're enjoying it even more than I am. Obi-Wan and Anakin uh, looks to be free, pretty good and exciting. Star Wars, consistently good uh, good book to pick up week, um, monthly or whenever it comes out. Um, but I highly recommend those as well. So that's all I got for now. I will see you as soon as I can when I review some more stuff or just show you some cool things that I have found. And until then, thank you very much for your time, for watching, and I appreciate it. Give me a comment. Let me know how this is. Take care, guys.